town of Dillon plans to pull millions from reserve to pay for 2021. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, there is new hope that local restaurants can reopen on their own terms, but don't bank on it quite yet. Summit County Board of Health discussed the five-star variants program yesterday, in place now for Mesa County. Health Director Amy Wineland. If we were in level orange, then five-star businesses would be able to operate under level yellow capacity. The CDPHE is developing a state program now based on what's happening in Mesa, but with new limits. Currently in level red restrictions, no county is allowed to ask for a variance. And the state has serious concerns. So they went from protect our neighbor to level red in a matter of a month. And these five-star certifications did not prevent any spread of the virus. They did not prevent the county from getting to a level red status. If approved, businesses will have to meet guidelines and go through inspections, something locals are already used to. Our businesses are already a step ahead of many counties in that we have been requiring some of these things all along. The state could unveil the program as early as next week for variances by December 18th. Summit, Eagle, Larimer, and dozens more counties are interested. An armed standoff in Hot Sulphur Springs ended peacefully last night, but only after the suspect allegedly fired at officers. Sky High News reports 41-year-old Rusty Brandstetter is in custody following a two-hour standoff. Police were serving a warrant for felony menacing and criminal mischief when he allegedly shot at them. No one was injured. Like the state itself, Colorado drivers are right in the middle of a most dangerous places to drive list. Colorado ranks 22nd out of 50 states with 632 road fatalities last year. One in three from speeding, more than one in four related to drinking and driving. South Carolina is the most dangerous with 1,037 fatalities. Massachusetts, the safest at 360 fatalities. Data comes from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Town of Dillon has finalized its 2021 budget and they are banking on reserves to get them through the lean times. Town revenue is projected at $13.7 million next year, with expenses of $18.2 million. Town staff and council are convinced reserves can manage the $4.5 million deficit. The latest now on coronavirus and feeding the family. If you're struggling to put food on the table this holiday, the FERC Food Pantry is here for you. You can save up to $350 per month on groceries by visiting one of two food pantries in Breckenridge and Silverthorne, noon to 1 p.m. most weekdays. Local unemployment rate is 8.1%, two and a half times lower than the all-time high from April, but still six times higher than the same time last year. Summit County's latest infection rate is 1,191 per 100,000 people, up again with a positive test rate of 7.8%, also up. Avalanche danger is low again today in the Summit Eagle County zone and across most of the state. North through east aspects are suspect today. In sports, Michaela Schifrin is out for upcoming speed races in Switzerland. The Colorado superstar said she hasn't spent enough time training for Saturday's Super G in St. Moritz. She won there two years ago. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, virtual fat bike racing arrives in two weeks, December 12th, with Uller Bike at Gold Run Nordic Center in Breck. It's the opening race of a four-part winter series. Get details and register at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.